M0UHF2E0HTG returning. Yeah, thanks for, for that, Jeff. Yeah, fine business. Yeah, no, I understand completely. Uh, question for you, actually. Um, so a bit earlier on, I was running duplex with um, G1ZMA. So uh, he was listening to me on four meters with uh, his SDR uh, and then transmitting to me through uh, 70 cents, 433.525, decimal which was fine. Um, but of course, I, um, I was, I'm sort of sat here holding my um, key on my mic uh, permanently so that we could have a sort of continuous conversation, which got us onto the subject of desk mics. And um, I was wondering, actually, have you got any suggestions for a desk mic? I'm sure I know Icom do one, but he said there's a couple of other companies that manufacture desk mics. In fact, there's a company that uh, manufactures a desk mic specifically for the IC7300. Back to you. I don't know if they do it. No one designs a mic specifically for a manufacturer. Although, saying that, um, there always, in the old days, there was always issues with icons because they have some kind of power. They have, um, I, I don't know what they do, but they create um, like an extra boost. Um, Whereas if you were talk on the Yaesu and that one, and the other one, they haven't got anything added, and so they always appeared quiet, and um, you would turn them up by the radio. But the icons always seemed to be deviating because they were overpowered. You had to go backwards on the radio rather than turning them up. Um, but I know the modern stuff is quite different now. I, I'm not too familiar with what they're doing with the new ones now. Um, but the microphones I use are the, for the Yaesu, I use the MD200, and for the big Yaesu, I use the Hale microphone, like Elvis Presley. M0UHF, uh, 2E0HTG returning. Okay, yeah, interesting. Thanks for that, Jeff, yeah. Um, yeah, he was saying that, um, you know, you can spend anything from about 100 quid to as much as you like on a professional mic. Uh, I just, well, it's interesting, actually, because I don't mind using a fist mic, but um, if you're going to run sort of duplex, then uh, sat here with just holding the key uh, for minutes on end is a bit of a pain. So um, I'm sort of thinking now that I'll probably get hold of one at some point. Um particularly as G1ZMA doesn't have access to four meters. And if he wants to have a uh, sort of continual chat, then duplex is the way to go. So uh, I'll have a look online um, uh, and see what's about, but I'll probably give you a shout or one of the other guys before I actually go ahead and buy anything. Because to be honest with you, I don't know anything about desk mics whatsoever. I don't know what's good or what's bad. Obviously I know what brands are available, but other than that, I, you know, and, and probably reading online reviews, I don't know whether I'm buying something good or bad or, or in between. Uh, back to you. Okay, well, I, I know of uh, a really good mic. I, I don't know how good the one is that uh, Dave IXP is, but he, he's got the right type of microphone. If you want a decent microphone, um, although he's overdriving his, and it's, it's not even so much the microphone, it's the, it's the radio, it's the microphone that suits your voice. Um, and that's why I, I keep on to you about your audio as well. I don't complain about your audio now on here because it sounds right. It sounds like you. Um, and that's what I was going to say to you earlier. The microphone, the 991, um, it, the audio on that is proper, proper awful, proper distorted and muffled. What you probably need to do is turn the processor on. And um, that will sharpen it up and tighten it up. Uh, I don't know if you have yours on or not, but it doesn't sound like it. Um, it sounds proper flat. Uh, no, not flat. Would it be flat? Just no, um, no substance. But the processor might sharpen it up a bit. Um, Maybe you're not on about M0UHF. M0UHF2E0HTG returning. Yeah, no, I know what you mean, um, uh, Jeff. In DXing circles, so in shortwave listening circles, we would call the audio muddy, um, where there's 
sort of there's basically too much bass, not enough treble. The uh, modulation's basically there, but it's not very clear. Uh, distorted isn't quite the word, but basically, if if, if you're DXing a weak signal and um, uh, and it's it muddy, basically means that you know it, it it's just not very clear, not very sharp. You can kind of hear what's going on. It's discernible, but it's kind of there's too much bass, not enough treble, and, and it's and it's not very sort of and and it doesn't that doesn't really aid clarity. Uh, in terms of kind of elucidating what's coming out of the modulation, if that makes sense. Back to you. That's exactly what I was trying to say. It's the muddiness of it. I, I couldn't think of any technical terms, but you, you understood what I meant, so that's, that's the main thing. Um, yeah, it's muddy, and you need to uh, sh sharpen it up a little bit, really, and then it'll be clearer. But I don't think you can do an awful lot. The only way you'll probably do that will be by changing the microphone. Um, are you using a standard microphone or not? I'm trying to find a microphone on my phone, um, which I can't remember what it's called. It's, it's, it's 300, uh, and it's American, um, and you will pay probably £500 for it. You can get them for around about 300 I think, maybe. 